Okay, for this video, we'll be discussing uh, mixed, absolute, and relative address in Microsoft Excel. Now, what are the difference of these addressing um, modes or addressing methods in Microsoft Excel? So, let's say, for example, I'm going to place here several values. So I'm, I'm typing, I'm typing random numbers, and let's say for example, I would like to add the values of these two numbers. So my formula will be equal to a1 plus a2. So I'm adding 10 and 55. Now what if I copy this formula? So if I copy the formula by dragging this handle to the right, you notice that the formula that I copied here is not exactly A1 plus A2, but here it becomes B1 plus B2, and here it becomes C1 plus C2. And that addressing method or mode is what we call the relative address. So why relative? So initially, this one is A1 plus A2, so we could say that A1 is two cells above this cell where we place the formula. And A2 is one cell above this cell where we placed the formula. So if we copy this formula, it will do it will be the same thing. So this one is equal to the value two cells above this cell plus one cell above this cell. So it's relative to its location and the same is true with this excuse me sorry so it's two cells above plus one cell above so the same if we copy this formula let's say we copy this I'm going to press ctrl C or you can also uh, use this one copy so yeah, let's use it one copy and then if I paste that here so what do you think will be the formula so you're right that's two cells above this cell so we are in F7 so two cells above F7 is F5 and one cell above F7 is F6 so that will be the address uh, used in that formula and this is what we call the relative address now let's have another example so that's the relative address okay so let's have first the absolute address so I'm going to erase this I can show you the formula first so to show the formulas I can click on uh, formulas and then show formulas so you can see these are the formulas that we have uh, created so we have a1 plus a2 b1 plus b2 and c1 plus c2 and then once we copy that formula here it becomes f5 plus f6 so to show the values we again click on show formulas so let me now erase this and this so let's go back to this now what is the absolute address and how do we uh, type the absolute address so to type the absolute address of a cell, we should place a dollar sign before the column. So the column is these letters and dollar sign before the row numbers. In other words, it is something like this. So I'm going to place here dollar sign A, dollar sign 1. So that is an example of an absolute address and then I'm going to do the same thing here dollar sign a dollar sign 2 okay so it's still the same because I'm still referring to a1 plus a2 let me make that bigger so for now it's still the same 
because I'm still referring to A1 plus A2. But this time around, I'm absolutely referring to cell A1 and A2. What do I mean by that? So if I copy this formula, going to the right, you notice that the values are the same. And if you're going to check the formula, it's always A1 plus A2. A1 plus A2 because we are absolutely referring to cells A1 and A2. What if I copy this formula here? So the same, still 65 because if you're going to double click that or edit that, it's still A1 plus A2. Okay, so that means we're absolutely referring to these two cells here. Whether we copy that, so let's say if we copy the formula going to the right downwards still we arrive at the same formula because we're absolutely referring to cells a1 and a2 so again that's the uh, absolute address so again let's take a look so we just place dollar sign before a then that means that the column is absolute dollar sign one that means the row is also absolute so it's absolutely referring to cell a1 the same is true with this dollar sign a that means a is absolute dollar sign two that means row two is absolute so we're referring absolutely to cells a1 and a2 for this formula so if you copy you notice that the values will always be the same and the formulas of course are actually the same so let's go back to the previous one just to compare so in the relative address we don't have dollar sign before the column letter <coughs> excuse me and the row number so that's 65 of course but if we copy that so you notice it will be a different thing so this one is cell a1 plus a2 so here what do you think will be the formula so that's two cells above plus one cell above so if we copy that going down that's two cells above so that's a2 plus one cell above that's a3 so here we have two cells above which is a3 plus one cell above that's a4 so here we have two cells above plus one cell above so c3 plus c4 so here that should be what c6 plus c7 so that's C6 plus C7. So that's the difference between relative address and absolute address. Okay, so now what is the mix? What do we mean by mix address? When you say mix address, either the column is absolute and the row is not, or maybe uh, that uh, the other way around the column is relative and the row is absolute so let's first try to have our column as absolute so what if i place here dollar sign a and also dollar sign two so that means that column a is absolute but row one and row two are relative so that means that i'm always referring to column a but one and two here are relative so i'm referring to two rows above and one row above where i place the formula but it should always be referring to a column a so what if i copy that formula to the right so you notice it will always be 65 because it's still one and two that's one row above two rows above and it's always column a because a is absolute so here the same thing it's always column a and one and two because i'm still at row number three so what if i copy that formula going down you'll notice i'm going to have a different value but if we're going to check this it's still two rows above so i'm now at row four so two rows above row four is row two and one row above row four is row three and still it is column a 
again, why is it still column A? Because A is absolute, but 2 and 3 or the rows are actually relative. So what if I copy the formula going down here? You notice the values are the same with the first row. Why? Because if you're going to double click here, you notice it's always A. And what is changing is actually the row values. Okay, so it is the row values are relative, but our column is actually absolute. So we're always referring to column A. So what if we do the other way around now? So let's say the rows are absolute, but the columns are relative. So again, that's still A1 plus A2, but the rows are absolute. That's why we have dollar sign before the row number. So if we copy that, so this time, you know, it's 62 because we have here now B1, B2. Again, this one will change. A will change. Why? Because it is relative. But 1 and 2 are absolute, so 1 and 2 will not change. So it will, it will always be 1 and 2. 1 and 2. So if I copy that formula downwards, you notice here, it's still A because that's a current cell, but it's always 1 and 2. Here, it's always 1 and 2, but we are now on column B. So it, it's now referring to the current column so if we copy this formula and then paste it here oh, sorry control c control v so what will you what do you think will be the formula so since one and two are absolute it's always one and two but the column is the current column which is f so f1 and F2. So here we have for now a, an example or examples of using absolute and mixed address. So let's try another example here. <clears throat> let's say I would like to create a 10 by 10 multiplication table. So I'm going to type here 1. And I can drag this one, but I'm going to use the right button. So fill series. So I have now 1 to 10. So the same is true with this. I'm going to drag this downwards. Fill series 1 to 10. Now, how do I create a multiplication table? So if you're going to look at the multiplication table, this one is equivalent to 2 times 2. Here it's 2 times 3. Here it's 4 times 3. Let's try to do the formula manually first. So here it's equal to A2 times B1. Here it's equal to A3 times B1. Here it's equal to A2 times C1. So 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6. Here, if you want to place the formula here, it will become equal to A3 times C1. Okay, but of course, that's not the most efficient way to do the multiplication table. We can just type a single formula, then copy the formulas to the cells, and then there, we have now our multiplication table. But what will be our formula? Let's first try to examine these formulas that I have typed here. So I'm going to show the formulas. 
So what do you notice? You notice here that in my formulas, I always have column A because we'll be multiplying all the values here at column A always. So two here becomes three here. So that means it is not absolute B. B here becomes C here. So it's not absolute. But you notice that one is always one in all of this formula. Again, A in all this did not change. So that means that A is absolute. But the row two here actually changed. So that's me that means it is relative. B here changed. From B it becomes C, but one did not change. So that means one is absolute and A is absolute. Two and B are not absolute. So let's now type the formula. So again, A will not change. So A is absolute. And one will not change. So one is absolute. That's it. So that will, that will be our formula to generate a multiplication tape. So once I press enter key, copy, copy, and that's it. I now have my multiplication table. And we will be using these uh, addressing techniques, you know, the absolute and the relative address and the mixed address in our next example in my next video. So thank you very much for viewing this video.